All right, so I've got 18 volts going into R2. And right now I have the 18 volts converting down to five volts on this buck converter and then 12 volts on this buck converter. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or if I'm going to have the same one with the digital readout. I kind of like that. Um, I got a fuse block here, space for another fuse block here. Right now, nothing's populated. This is all just roughed in. And this is where we currently stand with the electronics. Just to get the sound to work using Shadow RC, everything seems to be working out all right. I'm kind of testing out the position of the speakers. I kind of like them down firing rather than having them forward facing. It's a little harsh. It's a slog, but we're getting there. Looks like hell, but it works. And this is the modular control unit. I did some modifications. First off, the upper support arm I ended up heating up and bending so that the control unit itself runs parallel with the back of the R2. And also what I ended up doing, I wasn't a big fan of having to remove four screws every time I wanted to take out the MCU. So what I ended up doing, I don't know if you can see, I ended up in the slicer program, I removed a portion of this anchoring uh, block on either side what that allows me to do is to pull the whole thing out in one shot. I also ended up having to sand away a portion of the dome motor mount that used to come through here. This got sanded away to make room so that this had clearance to pivot out of the way. And here's a close-up of one of the blocks. I ended up in the slicer program just removing this piece creating the channel for the bearings to run into and to seat at the bottom of the block. Seems to work out all right.